what's up guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to talk about how you can get your chickens to lay more eggs now for a chicken to lay a good amount of eggs or above average diet is everything because that's where they get the protein the source the calcium everything to make the egg and what i feed my chickens is just regular laying of pellets from purine and i've had i've been using them for like two years almost now and i used to get like basic grain and mix stuff into it and mix some scratch grains and corn into it but chickens like this it's healthy for them and it's one of the pricier feeds on like a feed market other than like name brands and other thing but um it has more calcium than other feeds and it already has pieces of whole corn and crushed corn in there and that's what I feed the chickens, and it's a good diet for them. What I'll do is one of these scoopers is about three pounds when it's full. And I'll do six of those, feed them twice a day, and usually that'll fill up one of these buckets full. And I feed them in the morning, afternoon, or evening. Um, nine quarts with uh, six of these, so 18 quarts every time. That rounds out to about my 80 chickens I have, give or take. That'll give them about... A third a pound of food per chicken per day which is over enough and I'll show you my chicken yard just here in a second but a chicken general rule of thumb is the average chicken needs about one and a half pounds of food a week or about a quarter pound a day so my chickens get that and some so that contributes to their laying quality good and something you always want to be set out for the chickens, the, even if you have good food that already has oyster shell in it, you need to always supplement them with it so they have strong shells. And if a chicken doesn't have the calcium it needs to make an egg, it will just skip that day and it won't even try to make it. So I always um, leave some grit out too, just to help them a little bit. That kind of helps their digestive system too. But oyster shell is good for their eggs, give you those good hard shells and that's about it for their diet in here now this is my chicken pen and a lot of people who watch the youtube videos say it's impressive and it has a lot of stuff for the chickens there's little bugs that they peck around at all the time in here frogs jump in here there's all kinds of insects and everything they can peck at peck at the grass some of the chickens will graze on the grass a little bit especially the ducks all these weeds they have little seeds on them and the ducks will just go like they are right now and nibble on the top of those and for food and the chickens will sometimes do that too but with the amount of food i feed them about a third pound a day per chicken i could even feed them uh less than fourth a pound a day because all this they have and they have a pen back there that stretches out a big uh, field. I have it closed off because the fence broke. But they have all this and it's just great for them in the summertime. This is the best it's ever looked and it looks pretty good. I've just been watering it every day and we've been getting tons of rain. So that's good. If you have a big chicken yard like this, a lot of grass, you can feed them less. If not, if you just have a regular old r dirt run, then I would suggest a third a pound of food a day with the oyster shell and everything. Usually I'll mix the oyster shell and with their food or I'll set a bowl out over there where I feed them. And this is just great to have. I do have to mention in the winter time, this is all dead and I will give them scratch grains and whole corn into their diet to supplement what they wouldn't get from here and to just add for their nutrition so they lay a lot more eggs in the winter time. Everybody set up around here enjoying the nice evening it's about 78 degrees we've had a little cool front come in on the summer day now the thing that corresponds to their diet second most important thing is where they lay their eggs and just how comfortable they are laying the egg and here i have a 12 nesting box set up which is enough for the chickens it might could use a few more on some days, but I have a lot of chickens, roughly 80 full grown, counting the ducks. But 
they usually never use all these nesting boxes sometimes you'll have the crazy chickens that try to squeeze three hens in one box but you want to have a lot of space and uh, generally large boxes that are confined like this so they are, are less stressful when they're laying their eggs and they feel kind of like they have a little alone time and they need to be up above the ground above the hen house floor i have a pretty big hen house in here need to clean it up a little bit i want to get a pressure washer and spray off the walls but got good perches everywhere enough to supply all the chickens at night and the hen house needs to be a comfortable environment for them sometimes i'll have a fan in here if it gets too hot but generally the airflow is always it's always windy here in oklahoma so always air coming in here venting it well and it just needs to be a comfortable place for them I change out their nesting boxes almost every day make sure they're clean and i like to give them a lot of straw and shavings at the bottom here to just peck around at and give himself some dust baths but today i got about yesterday i almost got three dozen eggs some days i'll get four to five but egg production's down a little bit because all the heat and changes in temperature we've been getting but few eggs today i've already got them once this morning now broody hens can mess up other chickens egg production as well i have two broody hens right now and they've been going strong for almost a month now and i've taken them off the nest separated them done everything that would normally break a hen but these guys are just stubborn so usually i want to keep them in their same spot so they don't go around because they'll go around and try to move eggs across i've seen them rolling them around the sides here and then the eggs will end up breaking chickens will get into them and then they'll develop a bad habit of breaking eggs but these broody guys they won't lay eggs but they'll just sit on them now i don't have any molting hens right now because that usually happens in the fall winter time but when they do it's when they lose feathers they replenish the calcium in their body to um, make new feathers so they won't lay any eggs in that period of time which is usually around four to eight weeks in my experience sometimes less sometimes more but that's the deal with chickens that are lacking egg production in the fall time these are some chicks i just got recently they're nearing almost a month old a couple weeks shy of it and they're gonna be some good breeds they're not layer breeds necessarily but you can boost any chickens um consistent laying earlier with the things i mentioned in this video they will generally start laying every day consistently about seven months old and start around six months especially for uh breeds bred to lay early and a lot of eggs like leggerns and rhode island reds and red stars new hampshire reds buff warpingtons those are all great breeds Just gave the chickens a little snack, but I want to outline some things here. Number one, about their diet. Um, the main essentials is calcium and protein. You can always supplement it with oyster shell, which you should always have 24-7 supply for them. And if you want to increase their protein, maybe fat content, get some whole cracked corn. Or you could even throw in some cat food. It's really rich in protein and a little bit of dog food maybe even you have that on supply most people do and that'll increase their diet i've done that before and it's worked and they're pretty happy with it with the right diet you can get a chicken to lay almost every day it takes average chicken 24 to 25 hours every day lay an egg so about once a week it might skip but generally rule of thumb if you have a good diet and a good breed of chicken it can exceed 300 eggs a year which is great and supplement it with a great diet it's going to have a really rich um yolk and just a good all overall egg you want to make sure you always have on supply some nice good water clean water for them it's a little difficult with ducks here mixed in with the chickens but i manage and in the hot summer days which we've been having lately 
it's good to have them cold water ice water i usually keep a couple buckets i'll freeze a gallon jugs and then i'll put them in their water and that'll last usually all day and they'll drink it all up real fast That'll keep them happy, and if you keep them happy, it'll keep them laying eggs. So thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure to share the videos with your friends, and I'll see you next time.